Hey, I got a little car chat for you on this Monday morning. Proverbs 18.21 says, Life and death are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat of its fruit. I think we really need to get a handle on just how powerful our words are. Do we want life? We need to speak life. Do we want death? We need to speak death. And maybe you're sitting there thinking, oh, okay, so I'm just going to say, um, I wish you were dead and you're going to drop dead. No, it doesn't work that way. But let me put it to you this way. Try telling yourself every day for the rest of your life that you're a loser and you'll never amount to anything. And see what that does on the inside of you. See what that does to your thinking and the way you feel about yourself. But try telling yourself that you're a new creation in Christ. That you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And see how that affects your thinking and the way you feel about yourself. No, our words may not kill or bring to life in an instant, but they do it over time, y'all. And what we say to ourselves and what we say to other people makes a difference. And so I wanna challenge you today. Make a decision that for just for today, one day, you can do this one day. Choose to say only life-giving words to yourself and to other people. Be very aware of anything that you want to say that is not life-giving. Anything you want to say that has the potential of death. Put those words aside and speak only life over yourself and others today. And see how you feel by the end of the day. And then maybe tomorrow when you get up, you'll want to try it again. And maybe the day after that, you'll want to try it again. It's my challenge for you to see if you can fully grasp that your words have life and death in them and that what you say really, really matters in your life and the lives of the people around you. Have a great Monday, guys.